Hey everybody, Dr. Lisa here again. Uh, this is day eight and I want to let you know that stress causes subluxations. That's the reason why we're talking about stress so much in our office. We know that there's physical stress, chemical stress and emotional stress and all of which affect us really every single day, some more than others. Uh, definitely emotional stress is a doozy. Um, but chemical stresses are there too. It could be the air you're breathing, it can be chemicals and dyes in the clothes we wear, uh, things that are in our drinks or food. Um, those are all chemical stresses and even medications can really wear on the nervous system. But stress causes subluxations. That's why we need to have a chiropractor checking and maintaining our nervous system to keep us as healthy as possible as we go through our lives. So mitigating stress, reducing stress, recognizing where in your life your stress is peaking or spiking or where in the day it's getting really intense and just managing some of that a little bit better is a really great way to help facilitate healing in the body and not to mention preventing you from getting subluxated in the first place. So we want you to be well, we want you to take care of yourself and we want you to help prevent subluxations by decreasing stress.